Hello guys, my name is Francine and I'm back again with another, another video. <clears throat> Forgive me, um, I'm so tired, I've been up from early this morning. But we'll go ahead and we'll start this video with a prayer, okay? Heavenly Father, Lord, I welcome you, Lord, and Holy Spirit, we thank you for Hashem, Lord. We thank you this video, Lord, where we may share your love, your faith, God, your grace, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for whatever doors you open for us lord you help and you walk us through it lord in your spirit by the holy spirit lord and in your holy name jesus for you are our covering you are with us in our comings and our goings and i plead the blood of jesus over myself this video and the viewer and i pray that they open their heart and they embrace your love and your grace that you have instilled within them in your mighty name jesus amen all right, guys, God bless you. And we're going to go ahead and I'm going to start reading from God's promises. I have a really good message for you today. Okay, so the Lord has given me a sign this morning when I woke up. And it was concerning the mark of the beast. So it led me through a beautiful morning, actually. Okay, because I knew that wasn't like a bad sign meaning that you know like that was the evil works speaking to me no that was a sign from god letting me know like hey be mindful this is a sign so as you going along your about your business throughout your day be mindful be aware and watch okay so that's what i did but i didn't let that stop me in my tracks I know that the Lord is with me and I know where my help come from. So I'm not going to freak out. i seen those numbers right when I was about to get out of bed. That's the first thing, like, boom, the Lord gave me a vision. Okay, so now I'm aware and now I'm ready. I'm going to prepare for my day. So I did. I got up. I went to go ahead and pray and I'll go ahead and about my business, go clean my house and get all that, that set, situated. And then I went ahead and went go listen to God's word and meditation. I shared that video on my Facebook and I listened to it for like two hours. And in the meantime, I was praying and praising him, you know, and I went and stepped outside and I was looking up at the clouds and I was just listening to it. And I also went and transplanted my dragon fruits that I sprouted in a contain a reusable container in my kitchen. So I went ahead and transplanted them because they needed a new pot so their roots had, could get room to grow, okay? So water and nourish your roots, okay, guys? And know that with the Lord, he will see you through it all. And with the Lord, he is the one who's going to nourish your roots. And he is the one that gives us the strength and the ability to extend our roots to adapt and grow not to conform but to be aware and to learn not to get comfortable okay not to settle not to be okay not to be lukewarm okay guys but to stand firm on his promises and all that he has instilled within us and what has he instilled within us? His love and his grace. Okay, guys? Jesus Christ has died on the cross for our sins. Okay? None of us, none of us, okay? None of us was perfect or are going to be perfect. But through Christ Jesus, he has made the way for us. He has interceded for us. So today we're going to be emphasizing and speaking about that. Because... Yeah, the sign was about the mark of the beast, but then the message today is what is going to save you. The message today is not only just a warning, but it is also a message of faith, grace, and love, and the covering that is over you in your entire life when you have the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. So today the message is going to be speaking through 
God's promises for every day. Okay. And this book is $4.99 and I got it from CBS. And I've been, I've started a new thing where I've been reading these cards that I received, that I have received through, um, going out there and seeking all the different type of tools that are available because there's a lot of tools you can utilize out there within your community that are also free when you can go online and you can go to the library. Um, but be mindful with the library, you have to be um, vaccinated in order to go into the library. So if you're not vaccinated, then just keep that in mind. I believe they do have signs posted out front the door okay so we're going to begin thank you guys so much for joining me god bless you all okay so i'm going to go ahead and start off with okay, let me put this up here i'm in my office today start off and I'm going to go read from God's promises okay so the scripture I have here for you is Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 to 3 okay it is written let us look only to Jesus the one who began our faith and who makes it perfect he suffered death on the cross but he accepted the shame as if it were nothing because of the joy that God put before him. And now he is sitting at the right side of God's throne. Think about Jesus. Example. He held on while wicked people were doing evil things to him. So do not get tired and stop trying. Okay, the Lord does not want you to give up. Okay, guys. That, that scripture was Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2 to 3. Okay, so like all the things that you're going through, you, all, all the hardship, all this people, unhealed people with unhealed business. Remember, that's not your business. Who is in control? God is in control, okay? So he already got you covered. You need to focus on him. And how we focus on him by what? reading and getting to know him for ourselves it's okay and i'm not saying just read the bible for read them move your lips okay i went over that this is not not trying to get you just to move your lips because the lord doesn't want you to just be a hearer of the word he wants you to be a doer okay so when he said love your neighbor as yourself love is an action word why do you think Jesus Christ was a living example of God's love, okay? And we all get to receive him as our salvation because that is a free gift to us from God. And why, guys, why? Why did he give his only son to us? Because he loved us so much. He loved us so much that his son has died on the cross. Jesus Christ died on the cross for us while we were still sinners, okay, guys? Not, not one, not none, no one, not one, and the only one is Jesus Christ, okay? Whew. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So that was Hebrews 12, chapter 12, verse 2 to 3. Okay, I'm going to go, oh, I have a card I'm going to share with you, okay? So this scripture is 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 17. <clears throat> is written our light that is good our light and monetary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all you understand what that means okay so our light okay jesus our light it's only monetary monetary meaning this is only for a short period this is just for a short period of time this life here on earth is not it guys okay this is not this the life and this is it no we have eternal life with jesus christ okay and with him you only die 
once without him, you're going to die twice. You're going to go and take the road one, the one way, who is Jesus Christ and the only way. You're going to take the one way or you can go deviate from the righteous path and you're going to go and take the dead end. How way you going to go? There's a bunch of signs leading to that dead end of where the destination is headed. You know what I mean? So everything that I'm sharing with you today is to not only nourish your roots, okay? Not only to nourish it, but to ground your roots in Jesus Christ's love in his holy and mighty name. Amen. Okay, guys? When we get to a, a chance to study and read, when I say read the Bible, I actually mean study, meditate on his word. So just read and carry on and carry on and expect the Lord to move for you because you're reading his word. No, the Lord wants you to move. The Lord wants you to move, take action. He wants you to be a living example, okay? So after we incline our ear, after we incline our ear and we open our hearts, all right, and we let our guard down, Okay, and be humble before the Lord. Okay, and to be mindful, okay, that our carnal mind cannot completely, fully understand all that the Lord has in store for us. So don't rely only on what you believe because and what you think. Okay, open your heart and let the Lord reveal to you. Let Him tell you, let Him show you what he has in store for you instead of you trying to take control and thinking that you know better you can go on that route that's going to end it you can end up on that dead end route and that's where you all your energy is depleted now who who is going to restore that energy at your weakest moment when you're traveling down that dead end route who who are you going to call on yourself you already got yourself in this situation. Who are you gonna call on when you, when, when Jesus Christ is not even here? We gotta start calling on him now, guys. Okay, we gotta start lifting his name up, guys. We gotta start helping one another lift his name up. Reach out to one another. Okay, all these little manini problems that are going on in this world. Okay, um, not manini. Not saying all the problems in the world is manini, but what I'm saying is. Actually, you know what? Be, be, rebirth, re, re, rebirth that and rebirth. All the problems in this world is manini compared to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay? Remember that. Our God is greater than, than who is in this world. All right? The enemy is afraid of what's inside of you. Okay? And what's inside of you? Jesus Christ is your Lord and your Savior. Guess what's inside of you? God's Spirit. Why? Because you're in a living temple of God. Excuse me. I so excited. It's just all going to come out one time. Don't mind me. And plus, I get small time like um, energized right now. Like the Lord is like just pumping me with His love right now and just giving me all the energy because. I was so tired. I, I went ahead and took a shower and I was like doing highlighting and doing my notes and getting everything together and putting them all together the pieces. The Lord was helping me and he was guiding me all day, preparing me for me for do the video. So I was like, oh, I don't want to go sleep. You know what I mean? I like do this now while I get them fresh and everything is right here on my heart. The Lord is nudging me to do it now. I cannot wait. I got to do them now. You know what I mean? Today, not tomorrow. Why? Because if you keep putting stuff off for the Lord, Ah, tomorrow I'm going to do it for the Lord. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Oh, cousin. How you know you even get tomorrow? You know what I mean? Tomorrow is not promised. Okay? Eternal life, okay, is promised through Jesus Christ. But we don't know when our time is, right? So we shouldn't take advantage of that. Okay? So when the Lord put something on your heart to do move with it rock with it walk in the spirit honey because the lord is backing you walk the lord you in the lord time you in god's hand you in the most perfect and mighty hand all right move from the holy spirit 
it back to you then. All right. Let your soul groove with the Holy Spirit. Let the Spirit lead you. Let the Holy Spirit lead you in the mighty name of Jesus, okay? Who is the Son of God? Who is your salvation? Okay? Let go of the will and let God take control because He is the one ultimately in control. Whether you want to deviate off to the wrong path, He is in control of everything. He oversees your coming and your goings. Okay? He is the one who has created you further the air, the mountain, the ocean, the moon, the sun, everything. Everything. I'm so grateful for I'm so grateful for the Holy Spirit working in my life and when I ask the Lord and I tell I pour myself out I pour myself out to him and I ask him, Lord, please fill me, Lord, with your spirit. Fill me up, Lord. Please fill me up, God. Okay? His love is perfect. His compassionate, big heart. The Lord don't give heart, bro. And I'm so grateful that the Lord don't bless me with one big heart. That I can share. Share his faith. I can walk by faith. I can walk in the Spirit. I can live in the Spirit. And the Holy Spirit speak for me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now my salvation. Our salvation. Our King of Kings, guys. Okay? Okay. So, and then, like I was saying, on these cards, once I get scripture, and sometimes on the other side might have a quote, from an artist or um, a public figure or something like that, okay? So this one is from Henry Ward Beecher. I'm sorry, I do not know who he is either. But hallelujah, I know who Jesus Christ is and that is the main thing. But this man, his quote is, every tomorrow has two handles i never read any of these cards guys i pulled them out randomly i didn't read it before i did this this is how god worked okay led by the holy spirit if you got them you got them amen if you got them say thank you jesus in the mighty name in your holy mighty name lord jesus amen claim it if you have caught that okay so every tomorrow has two handles we can take hold of it with the handle of anxiety or the handle of faith amen when i think about okay get this i say i want say i want crossroads now i see i see over here so let me see on my right i see oh one way Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. And then on this side, I look. Oh, dead end. But I ain't trying to go down that road. There's nothing leading to life that way. Okay. Dead end, eternal life. Dead end, eternal life. Oh, guys. Which one is it going to be? Okay. So, every tomorrow has two handles. Dead end, eternal life. Jesus Christ. The one way. Okay. So, Jesus is... Let me read this. Okay. One way. Okay, I got a scripture for that. Let me read this. Okay, guys. Um, do, 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 do. I'm going to read this, the narrow gate. So I'm reading from my Bible. Okay, so this is Matthew 7, Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 to 14. It is written, Enter at the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many who are going through it, because small is the gate, and narrow is the way which leads to life 
and there are few who find it okay guys why is there few that find the narrow gate okay why do only a few Hmm? Small and narrow. Okay. Meaning, when people say standing in one line, okay, when, some, when there's a bunch of people standing in line, everybody is coordinated, everybody is in a structure, structural, you know, um, I don't know how to put that into words. Okay, scratch that. Everybody's standing in line and everybody is preparing to walk through this narrow path. Okay, so everybody's just standing in a line, calm, cool, and collective. They know the Lord is got it all, con all under control. They know. They know their Lord and where they help come from. Okay, so everybody waiting patiently in line for their turn and their opportunity to step over the threshold, to step through those gates, to step through those doors that the Lord has opened up for them through the pouring of his blood, through all of that he has done and ministered to us. Okay, guys, all that Jesus has done for us, all that our Heavenly Father Lord has done for us, guys, okay, all by grace. So everybody waiting in line. So these people standing in line, if there was an alarm that went off, okay, and was like, okay, come on, guys, let's go. Come on in. Everybody's going to just walk, you know, and unified. Everybody's going to go straight inside. Everything is going to be nice, cool, calm, and collective. Everyone is in order, okay? Everybody's in line with Jesus. So everybody knows that the Lord is in control. So what they do they follow him through the door. They follow him through the gates. They follow him through the throne. Okay? To the foot of God. To our Heavenly Father. He is the one who leads us to our Heavenly Father. He is the Good Shepherd. He is our salvation. Okay? So, that's the path to life. Now, why only so few find this narrow and small gate? It's because you have to be following and walking in the likeness of Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ was the only one who was perfect, okay? God's love perfected in him, okay? He was perfect, the only one, okay? God's son. Since he was the only one, right? That's why it it only a few are willing to I'm gonna just say this. Plenty of people wearing one cross, only few carry their cross. You feel me? You see where I'm coming from? Okay? You either you walk in talking, living in the spirit, or you're just making noise. Because I don't know what's the point of making noise when the truth of the fact is that he knows everything. He sees everything. He is overlooking our coming and our going, guys. He knows the contents of our heart. Okay, he knows our thoughts, our desires, our emotions. He knows our moves. He already know all and everything that is concerning you. So, he loves, God loves you and he sent Jesus. He don't want you to go down the dead end route. Okay, and mind you, the dead end route, you not die one time but you die two times okay you die your regular natural death your physical body death and then you're gonna get 
cast off and down there into the pit okay so we're going dead end or we want to live a life of peace a life of love of god's love fruit of god's love okay do we want to live an eternal life and go back home to our creator our heavenly father you know what i'm saying so there's choices there's choices that our heavenly father lord has blessed us with the free gift which is jesus christ and the free will to choose okay free will to choose which way you want to go so i know i used to looking this way for the dead end and this way for the path of life but it's really like this life or death down we want to go up right we want to fly with, with jesus we want to go home to our heavenly father our creator amen amen hallelujah okay god is good guys I'm telling you so when i tell you read your bible i'm talking study your bible okay and when you're watching my video or you're watching any pastor or preacher or even when you go to church the lord doesn't want you to just be a hearer he wants you to elevate your ear to be aware yeah and to watch out for the signs and to listen yeah listen to incline your ear so come in let god's word marinate in your heart and you meditate let god's word marinate and you meditate on his word all day the one word the message the sign whatever he has given you and do know that the lord does not operate the way you want him to okay the lord is who he is the lord will do as he pleases according to his will not my will and not your will but he is able and will bless you with what you ask for if it's according to his will and as if it is of good and loving energies you feel me you know what i'm saying guys the lord is here to prosper you and that's all he has ever wanted for you is to love you and prosper you okay and he has given you everything you have everything you need right here all right there's no amount of money in the world okay guys no amount of money in, in this world is worth losing your opportunity to go into heaven and the reason why i say that there's no amount of money is because there's people out there who are actually money is their only main focus and their motivation to live you feel me okay this life here is an ex is, is a part of your journey but this is not the destination okay guys this is where we make the choice. This is where we're going we're going we to live an example for the next one, okay? Because we don't like our loved ones go down the dead end route, right? We like our loved ones walk with us and stand in line with us for Jesus and follow Jesus and be in line with him and to stand firm on God's promises and to do and be the person that God will create us to be. We want that for ourselves and we want that for our loved ones. We should want this for everyone. Okay, guys? So, your enemies, pray for them. The people who talk about you, hate you, they'll tell you all that. Whatever. Whatever it may be, pray for them. Okay? You hear somebody not feeling good, boom, pray for them. Pray them up all day long, all night. Just pray, pray. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Lift up Jesus' name in the mighty, in his mighty name. Lift Jesus' name up in Jesus' holy name. Lift him up. Lift all the brothers, the uncles and the aunties and the, the tutus, everybody. Lift them all up in the mighty name of Jesus, okay? We all need prayer. We all need each other's support, especially in this in these days, guys, okay? And we have to watch and be mindful that we don't fall into the traps. That's how come only a few go through or can even see 
okay when you feel can see because everybody else is falling for the traps that the enemy has laid out for them that's why your heart and your mind set gotta be fixated on your salvation on your one way okay trip into heaven into into the presence of your heavenly father lord in heaven your creator okay guys hmm. <laughs> oh 20 minutes okay so i have um in the back of this book god's promises for every day in the back there's god's plan of salvation and there's like um all the scriptures that's talking about God's plan for your salvation, okay? Your plan, God's plans of salvation. Sorry, forgive me. I'm just like so, <laughs> the Lord has energized me. Okay, so I'm going to give this one right here, okay? Romans chapter 3, verse 23 to 24 is written. All have sinned and are not good enough for God's glory. And all need to be made right with God by His grace which is a free gift. They need to be made free from sin through Jesus Christ. Amen. So that was Romans chapter 3, verse 23 to 24. So go ahead and study, guys, these scriptures. And I'm going to have these scriptures in the drop box below so you can go ahead and get them and nourish your roots and ground yourself in Jesus' love. Okay, guys? And you take your time, it's not a race. You pray, you ask the Lord to help you see, okay? To help you see all that He has in store for you and what He needs you. Ask Him for confirmation, ask Him for the healing, ask Him for whatever it is that you may need. And believe and have faith in Him and trust in Him that whatever you ask Him, He will deliver to you. Why? Because Jesus Christ is your deliverance. Amen. Okay. So moving on, I'm going to go ahead and read to you John chapter 3, verse 36. It is written, Those who believe in the Son have eternal life, but those who do not obey the Son will never have life, but will never have life. God's anger stays on them. And that's John chapter 3, 36. Okay. So this right here is like a sign right there at the, at the, at the, you're, at a, you're at a crossroads. Right there is a sign. Those who believe in the Son have eternal life. Okay. And those who do not obey the Son will have, will never have life. So these guys is going um dead end zone, okay guys, where there's not it doesn't lead to life, period. Okay. You look around you in your in your environment, within your community, within your workplace, within your ohana, within your your country even. Look around what's going on. Then you go over there, just ram randomly Google another country and look um Type in the, the, the country and then put currently current events and try to see what they get going on over there. And you might be kind of surprised and you realize that we have been blessed because around the world there's all kinds of stuff going on, guys. That's why we need to pray for one another because you truly do not know just how blessed you are and what the Lord has done and how he has preserved you every waking moment of your life and when you are fast asleep you are in his hands in the mighty name of jesus you're in god's hands okay amen so i'm moving on i'm going to go ahead and read john three sixteen. it is written god loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son so that whoever believes in him may not be lost, but have eternal life. We at that crossroad again, guys. Okay, this is, it says right here, eternal life or be lost. Dead end route, 
you know, for eternal life. Okay, we have the choice. Okay, and guess what? We have the free will to choose. And guess what? Through Jesus Christ is freedom. And guess what? Being lost forever, never to be found, but at the bottom of the pit to suffer for eternity. It's not somewhere you would want to be or want anybody you love to be or anybody to be, okay? So pray for one another. And it's very important that you get to know God's word for yourself. When you start reading scripture, you can start realizing and you pray and ask the Lord to remove the scales off your eyes and help you to incline your ears so you can hear him. And when you read scripture, the Lord is going to reveal to you that he's been there with you from day one and he's never left your side. Let him, let him reveal to you all that he has in store for you, okay guys? Okay? Okay, next scripture, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 through 9. It is written, I mean that you have been saved by grace through believing. You did not save yourselves. It was a gift from God. It was not the result of your own efforts. So you cannot brag about it. Okay. You got strength. Thank you, Jesus. Because guess what? He is the one who strengthens you. You got peace. Thank you, Jesus. Because he is the one who is your peace. Okay? He is your peace. He is your strength. And he is our salvation. Okay? Thank you, Jesus. He wants us to believe. To believe. Believe in him. Okay, guys? He will get us through whatever it is that is going on within your ohana, within your community, whatever. Whatever you're going on, even the stuff that you get going on inside of you, the battles that you've been fighting, if you have not been fighting them alone, and if you have been feeling like you've been abandoned, please close your eyes, lift up your hands, and you pray and you ask the Lord to help you, guide you, comfort you, heal you and shower his love upon you and just ask the Lord for forgiveness if that is something that is on your heart that you know you need to do okay guys and not because I'm telling you to do it but because that's something that you know and the Holy Spirit is letting you know that that's what you need to do okay all right um and that it has been by grace that you were saved and that it is nothing that you have done okay guys I said this before in my other videos, and um, there's no God loves you, okay? He loves you very much. He loves you very, very much, okay, guys? Jesus Christ is the living example of God's love, and the Lord wants us to resemble his likeness so we can be living examples for the next generation, for for our keepies, okay, like, and even for our brothers and our sisters, okay, guys, we gotta stand firm and show up and stand up for the person that God will create you to be, okay, guys, if you are here today, you are here for a reason, okay, even though you got a tough season right now, the Lord is able to help you stand, the Lord is able to to water and ground your roots within his love and strengthen you okay he's unshakable his love is your grace and covering guys here's your salvation okay guys all right now i'm going to move on to ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 through 9. oh no i'm sorry that's the one i just read my bad sorry <laughs> the next one is revelation chapter 3 verse 20. It is written, here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and eat with you and you will eat with me. Okay. He's, he's telling us to invite us. He's not telling us to invite us. He's telling us to invite him so he can join us. Okay. So he can 
come in and we will be taking part of him and he is a part of us we are one his spirit dwells within us god's spirit dwells within us because we are a living temple of god why because of jesus christ okay jesus christ has done it all he has done it all and to get to know just how done he has done it all read your bible and study open your heart and your mind okay because our god will operate within the limitations on what you perceive him to be you see what i'm saying he can do more than you could ever imagine because he won't show you something that you, you when he show you something you want to know okay and trust me feel me when he wants you to know it that was him he will very much he will surely let you know trust and believe okay there's no ignoring him when he is trying to tell you something when he he's trying to tell you something you can ignore him ignore him ignore him all you want you can deny 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 all you want but there's going to come a time when there's not going to he's not going to be there and he's going to say oh go i don't know you you know what i mean when you say la 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 he's like oh i don't know you you know i don't know your name who are you you know so guys we don't have time so we need to take the time that we do have here and cherish every moment with our loved ones okay guys pray for one another and especially if you see someone struggling yeah guys you don't need to go and you know try and be uh one detective and figure out everything what's going on with them you know something is up you can you can see it you don't need to know the situation you just pray okay and i know you know i don't want to say this and like push and push this on anybody and try and get you to um believe what i want to say right now but this is how i feel like i've heard where they said um when you pray for someone um you gotta know their name i believe that the lord i know that the lord knows my thoughts and he knows my heart so if i'm looking at someone and i i feel it in my heart to pray for them and i know i don't have to go over there and actually lay my hand on them if the lord put it in my heart to pray for them right where i'm at i know i can do that whether i know their name or not because guess what he know my name, I know his name, and guess what? He know their name, okay? So I believe and trust in him knowing and have faith in him knowing that he knows exactly who we're talking about and that he knows exactly what's going on with them. So I lifting them up to him, all believe, all in by faith, believing in him that the Lord going to get, going to cover them. And I believe that it's done already because guess what it is? Because Jesus Christ has done it all, guys. So the most important thing, guys, is to not only just know about him, but what you're going to do with what you know is what is important. We're going to go one way or we're going to go the only way, and that's through Jesus Christ. I'm going to go ahead um, and read this scripture, and then, yeah, okay? So... I'm going to be reading from Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 29, okay? So this is called the two house builders. It is written, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on a rock. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat on that house and it did not fall for it was founded on a rock and everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be likened to a foolish man who built his house on the sand and the rain descended the floods came and the wind blew and beat on that house and it fell and it and its fall was great. When Yeshua finished these sayings, the people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. 
Okay. So the Lord, the Lord wasn't, Jesus wasn't only like talking to them like I just went, one teacher, you know what I'm saying? Like from the book, kind teacher, you know, I got to go to school and then you get the teacher talking to you. you. You get the lesson plan from the book and all that, that, that. Yeah, Jesus was teaching them with authority because he is the authority. He is god's word okay he is living example he is god's word in the flesh okay yes all right so all these scriptures will be in the drop box below and i pray this message has touched your heart and share this video and if you do like please like it Please subscribe and share this video because when you share this video, you're not only just sharing and people coming to see and hear me speak, but it's not of who is speaking, but it's about who I'm speaking of. And that's the most important thing. So help me share God's love by subscribing and sharing my video. I hope this word has blessed your heart in, your mind, in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for you and God bless you. You guys have a beautiful day, a beautiful night, a beautiful morning in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Good night, guys.